Hey guys, Nice Galore here and welcome to a new video. This one is going to be not based around knives, this is going to be something I personally think all knife makers should have some form of. It's just easy to work with, it's just good all around. Um, you need some form of heat treating oven or forge or just some crucible that you can put coals in and get really really hot. I'm going to be making a fairly basic one, this is going to be my kind of starter thing that I can do, there's no electrics involved, it's a very simple one, you can do this at home, you just need some form of steel I'd recommend, uh, crucible, I'm going to be using this old kitchen sink that we bought and then never fit, so we're just going to use it, um, as you can see it's got a hole in the bottom, we're going to need to patch that, drill some holes in the side for handles, fill with plaster, drill a hole in the side for an airflow pipe and need some form of air compressor to fire air in. Um, I'd also like to apologise for not posting a video the last couple of weeks. I've been a bit busy with my college work and I've been prepping videos like for this and uh, I've got um, just a few other projects that I've started that I need to heat treat so you'll have a quick succession of videos now to make up for that so let's start drilling so the handles. Before we drill the holes we just got to decide what we're going to put in those holes. I'm going to be using these handles I don't know what they're for actually I don't know if they're kind of bath rails or whatever they are but I've got two of them which is good only problem is I've only got three bolts for four threads so I've searched everywhere in my shed, but I cannot find for the life of me a bolt the same size as this. So, I'm going to have to go a bit off the rails here and make my own. So, I'm just going to get a piece of mild steel, hack it up, tap it, and just see if it works. You know, do it to the best of my ability, so to speak. Okay, guys, so this is what I ended up coming up with. It doesn't actually work, which is really unfortunate. I, had, I filmed all this footage of me making it and then tried it and thought, great, doesn't work. This is unfortunate, I don't have the right drill size or the tap size to go with that particular thread. I have the drill size actually, but not the tap size, which is irritating. So, I've had a new idea. I've had a quick look through the same place I found it. I found this slightly smaller one. Now, this one does have both the bolts for it and it has everything I need. The only problem being is that I'm going to have one absolutely massive one and ap one absolutely tiny one now. Going to look a bit odd, but hey, what can you do? I've I've tried my best, it just didn't work out, so I'm going to gonna have to end up doing that. We're going to drill two biggish holes, two smallish holes, and then we have everything we need to put handles on this forge. So... Let's skip to drilling holes in the stainless steel. So thing. after about an hour of using various drill bits to just step it up a bit, uh, you know, a few mil each time just to really get that hole drilled, just using a file to file bits around the outside because I didn't have the right size drill bit, of, of course. So there you go, it's in at the moment. It does shake a bit around, you know, it, it does pull through ever so slightly, so that's not ideal, but... Once the design is complete, that won't move, hopefully, so should all be okay. And all the force is going to be applied vertically anyway, so that doesn't really matter a hell of a lot. So I'm just going to repeat that process, but on the other side, using this smaller one. It's going to be a lot easier because I don't have to step up quite as much. It's going to be dead easy. Going to drink some tea. Then we can move on to the other aspects of this um, forge. So... Should be fun. Okay, this is what it looks like with the handles on. I've angled them slightly, as you can see, towards me, so that if I want to pick it up and carry it somewhere, it's easy and I'm not reaching around anywhere. I was going to put them directly opposite each other, but it's almost like you're carrying a cooking wok there, and, and you, you just don't want that. It's just hard. So, next plan is I've got to get a bit of stainless steel or something that I can put around this hole in it. This won't be applicable to all of you, so I'm just going to do most of it off camera. Because if you're just building a forge, you probably won't have this hole because you won't be using a sink. I am. You can use anything, a massive dog food bowl, or anything anything steel, basically, that isn't galvanised. Because you don't want galvanised steel to produce zinc fumes and that will kill you. So don't do that. Other than that, though, I've just got to do that. Then drill holes in the side for the inlet pipe. Then we can pack it with plaster, which is the next fun thing we can do. 
Right, I've got a little plate that roughly covers it now. When I say roughly, I mean very roughly. There we are, roughly covers it. Now, the next step is to figure out where I need to drill a hole for a little pipe to go in, which is going to be my air inlet. Uh, later on in the video, I'll talk about what you actually need for a forge and what makes it so good compared to just a small wood fire on the ground. So, yeah. I'm going to do some marking out and decide where it's going to go. So, we've got our hole drilled. I've just got a little bit of pipe in here to show you what it's going to look like roughly. We're not going to be using this bit, obviously. Uh, it's just going to be on a slight incline, as you might be able to see, just so no smoke goes up it and damages the equipment that we're going to be used to pumping. By I say equipment, I mean hair dryer. <laughs> it's fairly low key. So, yeah, we've got all the rough bits out. We just need to do the last thing, which is filling it with plaster. This bit's quite important because it insulates everything, keeps everything in here warm, also means that this doesn't become red hot when you try and do anything with it. Which is really important actually, because otherwise it'd be almost impossible to do anything with. So, yeah, uh, let's start filling it with plaster. Right, guys, this is pretty much the finished product. As you can see, I've plastered the walls, these are nice and hard now. About inch and a half to an inch thickness I haven't paid too much attention handles now really secure uh, in regards to this handle um, I did realize what I could do to fix it with only three bolts um, I clamped as you can probably see one there and I put another one there that acted as a clamp so it's constantly trying to pull it that way and I used this bolt here as simply a brace so this will never move now this one completely fine I'm just using a bit of copper pipe as a test. This is not my final piece. I've got some stainless steel pipe in the shed, which I can use. Other than that though, that's pretty much everything technical you have to do. The only other thing I've done, just got this old hairdryer, taped it to a piece of copper pipe. I have used a bit of larger stainless steel pipe as more of a reducer, just so you can, you know, you're not just taping directly onto copper pipe, which, you know, it's a lot of pressure. It's could induce tears and I'm just bracing it against my step up here so that's nice and easy and yeah that's basically it we're ready to test it out so I'm gonna go get some coal and then we can start Well guys, that was my forge. I hope you enjoyed it. This is just a little knife dud that never really had an opportunity to become a knife anyway. And yeah, I thought it worked particularly well. If you thought it worked well as well, then leave a like, uh, leave a comment. It really motivates me and helps the channel out. And I'll see all you guys in the next video.